Hi there, Bren White uh, for a new series on YouTube called Pray Up. Now, you've probably seen uh, the other uh, two series connected to this and connected to True Leader, uh, Never Give Up and Look Up. Pray Up is uh, connected to Look Up for sure, and it's connected to Never Give Up. Uh, one of the only ways that human beings can uh, uh, live victoriously on the earth is to pray up. And um, there's a lot to this, uh, so we're just going to get uh, launched today, and we will spend uh, a number of times together uh, exploring all of what Jesus Christ teaches us about this. Um, we actually see Jesus throughout the Gospels um, outside and looking up and praying, um, thanking God. Uh, he would often look up and thank God directly um, for whatever was happening at that moment. And um, and it was a, an acknowledgement of the Father's presence, active presence, uh, in every moment. And this is one of the first things that we need to realize, uh, is that prayer is the realization of God's presence. Um, this is one of the first things that Jesus Christ did every day that he was in ministry on the earth. He woke up early before the sunrise, went out to a quiet place, and spent time talking openly uh, with the Father. And um, his whole viewpoint, his whole perspective was to spend time with the Father, taking in and sharing, talking through things about that day so that the Father could actually order the day, unfold the day um, in the best possible way. So this was the way he started every day, and you and I need to do the same. And John Bunyan said something very interesting about this. He said, he who runs from God in the morning will scarcely find him the rest of the day. Now, you know that's true. Uh, if you have, uh, if you have uh, gone many days uh, without praying, um, you know that it is not good for you uh, in terms of your spiritual health, in terms of the health of your soul and your mind. You know it. And um, uh, so there are all kinds of things that get in the way. Um, Satan is throwing obstacles constantly. And um, uh, the reality, though, is we follow Jesus Christ. We follow his example. We learn from him. Uh, he is our Lord. Uh, he is the master. Uh, he is the one who is leading us, leading many sons to glory. So he is in the lead, and we uh, follow him closely and learn from him and do what he did, if we're faithful followers. And um, so we are learning a lot uh, as we uh, spend time uh, in prayer with the Father. Uh, we learn some things about ourselves. Um, and uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit today. Um, there's several aspects of prayer that uh, I really want us to touch on. And then I'll explain a little bit um, the pray up um, approach specifically. Um, but I want to share one uh, interaction that Jesus had in John uh, chapter 9 and um, verse 39. Um, this is um, after a man... Uh, was uh, questioned about whether he believed that Jesus was the, the son, the son of man, um, and um, uh, he he did uh, believe that he was the son of man, the son of God, um, and uh, and he 
He said, yes, Lord, I believe. And the man uh, worshiped Jesus. Uh, this happened a number of times uh, when people realized who Jesus was, God in the flesh. Uh, that's, that's whom the Messiah is. Um, and um, so the Lord coming for his own sheep, Jesus told him to the man who was worshiping him, I entered this world to render judgment. Now, this is interesting because this is different from some other passages. I entered this world to render judgment, to give sight to the blind, and to show those who think they see that they are blind. Now, there are a lot of people in the world who don't pray at all because they don't see. They don't see spiritually. They are blind to the truth. Now, this puts them at a great disadvantage in every way, but it also puts their souls in danger. Uh, they're harming themselves. And um, all human beings were actually designed, and this is the way the brain is designed, to uh, have a docking port, <laughs> to, be, to, to have a base. Uh, the base is uh, the one from whom you came. Uh, the human brain is to be attached, this is Jesus' wording uh, in John 15, to be attached to the vine at all times, uh, taking in the nutrients, taking in everything spiritually, that uh, it needs, the psuche, the psyche, the soul needs. And um, so prayer actually is one of the things that not only demonstrates that we are not blind, but brings us sight. It actually helps us to see. And uh, one person actually said, prayer opens our eyes. Um, now, as you can imagine, there have been a lot of things said about prayer over the centuries uh, since Christ. Um, and a number of those things bring a tremendous amount of insight. Um, the first thing that we need to take into consideration is something um, that a fellow named Trench said and later was said by Phyllis Brooks. Prayer is not conquering God's reluctance but taking hold of God's willingness. Now, God made you before he made the universe, Ephesians chapter 1. Uh, this is what uh, the Apostle Paul teaches uh, throughout, uh, even in Acts and on. Um, he teaches uh, God places individuals in history, for his purpose, Acts 17. And he actually wants us to understand that he is fully in charge at all times. He is the Lord. That's what that means. He is the Lord of all. And so when we acknowledge him and we go to him as the source of our life, of who we are, uh, he breathed life into us. We are made in his image. Uh, this is exactly what God's design is. His will is. His will is for us to talk with him, to walk with him openly, honestly, humbly, humbly, every single day. And he said this all through the Bible, all through history. God has said this. And it has to do with you and I loving him, loving him, wanting to serve him, worship him, but loving him with all of our heart, our soul, our mind, Jesus says, with all of our thinking, with all of what God designed in to us. We are to pour it back out to him. And part of that is in prayer. The relationship with the living God made possible by Jesus Christ is this. It is a closeness, 
a devotedness, a loyalty above all loyalties. This is what you and I were created for. And this is what Jesus Christ shows us, brings us, makes possible for us. So praying is integral to being the people of God. Praying is essential for being a follower of Jesus Christ. And so you and I need to get a handle on this in every way. Whatever self-discipline it takes, um, what, whatever it requires, you and I need to take hold of this because God has tremendous willingness for us. He is trying to help us do his will in every way. And you and I cannot be wasting time on making excuses and being distracted. We need to do the will of God. And um, this is made explicit throughout the New Testament. This is what Jesus and the apostles taught, if we pay attention to it. Um, and uh, so just a, a couple of other notes here. Um, he, uh, the, the prayer, uh, prayer is actually talked about by famous people throughout history. And uh, Abraham Lincoln in particular said, I, I have been... Uh, driven many times by the over to my knees by the overwhelming conviction that I had nowhere else to go. Uh, when you and I need help, we need to look up to the source of all that is good, the one who actually has all power, all authority. He is the one who can help you. And Abraham Lincoln knew it. Uh, all the people in the Bible knew it. Uh, famous people uh, throughout history, uh, scientists, uh, other, uh, all kinds of people knew this very thing that Abraham Lincoln is talking about. Um, a fellow named Ian Bounds says, Our praying must be strong and backed up by holy living. Uh, this is what praying is all about. It's uh, it's not just uh, a laundry list, uh, a wish list. It's not that at all. It has to do with your relationship with God. And you need to be able to, to open up in such a way that God can help you to see the way things are, to see yourself more accurately, to see uh, life more accurately. Um, to know what is true, uh, swirling out here in all these lies in the world. Uh, only God can help you to know what's actually true. Uh, he is the only true one. Eminent uh, Christians have been eminent in prayer, Bounds says. Uh, this is the way it is. Um, you and I want to have an impact in life. We want to be spiritually strong. Uh, we will spend more time in prayer. Um, some of this has to do with us uh, uh, personally, spiritually. Uh, sometimes we need to spend prayer, uh, praying for and praying over loved ones, uh, people who mean a, a lot to us. We need to stop. Uh, all of the hurry and spend time lifting them up in prayer to the Father. And this is what the pray up um, thing is all about. It, uh, it has to do with a starting place, um, a starting place uh, with loved ones uh, where the best gift you can possibly give your wife, your children, uh, your uh, relatives, your friends, your brothers and sisters in Christ, the best thing you can give them is to lift them up in prayer, in their presence, thanking God for specific things about them that make a difference in your life um, and uh, conveying your love for them. Um, and that love is possible because of what God has done in Jesus Christ. Um, this is one of the ways of bringing uh, great power 
into your daily living and into all of your relationships. So we'll talk about this more, um, but this is a good starting place. Remember, uh, tomorrow morning, uh, before the sun comes up, uh, let's see if you and I can wake up and go to a solitary place and spend time with the Father. He has prepared the day for you. You and I need to spend time with him before we start the day. God bless you. I will see you next time. Thanks for joining in this new series. All righty. Bye-bye.